Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. It is a wet, miserable Monday morning. I am up in a place called Attleborough. It's um, yeah, a tiny little place to get through, as you can see. Delivering the light bulb recycling places to the industrial estate, the other side of Attleborough. This is the only real way to get in here because the other way to come in is through a weight limit. You would have thought this road would have been weight limited as well, but it's not because it's the only way to get through to the industrial estate. Got about, I don't know, five minutes to go, so we're not that far away. It's just, um, yeah, traffic lights because we're in a little village and narrow little roads. So, makes it interesting. Was into work this morning for about four o'clock. So, got the trailer hitched up, left the yard about five, four hours up here. Not been too bad really. But just as I'm getting up here, it's starting to rain. It's not rained all the way up. So, a little bit annoyed about that. Just left the delivery site now. Need to go and find some breakfast. I didn't go into the burger van whilst I was there because there just wasn't time really. I didn't have that much time. Need to take up both lanes here because we're going around this corner. It's a little bit tight if you don't take up both lanes. Cars try and cut up on the right hand side or the left hand side, whichever way they're going. So indicate now. Take it nice and wide. There we go. One to also pull out in front of you as you're coming around the corner as well. Back through the, I don't know if this is a village or a town, but anyway, yeah, need to go find some breakfast. Didn't go to the burger bar because, um, yeah, wasn't that long being unloaded. Normally it takes them a little bit longer, so I walk down, but didn't do that today. So I'm gonna go out to uh, Snetterton. There's a Greg's there. So yeah, that's where we're going. I'll then have my break to reset my drive time, which will mean I can then make it all the way back without needing another break, get a break in the yard, and then I'll know where I'm going by then as well and start heading there tonight because I'll still have a couple of hours drive time left if I need it. Went into the first Greg's and yeah, no bacon, no sausages either, which was a little bit disappointing. Didn't find that out until I'd squeezed into a parking space and then gone in and queued. So yeah, did the only sensible thing and left. Went to the next Greg's, which is about 10 miles down the road. Just about made that in time for the cut off for breakfast, but they did have bacon. So I got myself a bacon roll downside to that one though is the parking is a little bit uh, limited so I had to go a bit further down the road to a lay-by but it's done now I've had my break half an hour and the lay-by reset my drive time nearly down as far as where's this Birch Hanger services on the M11 so about two hours 20 minutes still to go till I get back to the yard another 116 miles that's gonna put me on around about seven hours driving seven hours ten minutes driving so i think i'm off to wales after this so i should just about make it over there with what drive time i'll have so all in all quite a lot of driving today and quite a lot of mileage covered Got back to the yard and as I thought, I have got a container to deliver in Wales, but not till tomorrow morning. I've got just about enough drive time to make it. I've got two hours 22 left from where I am now. Had my break in the yard to reset my drive time. And according to the sat nav, I've got two hours and 10 minutes ahead of me to go. Just about to go through the forest outside Marlborough. Uh, I do need to stop to get some food for the week on the way up. 
So I'll stop in uh, the Tesco's in Risco, I think, do my food shopping. If I've got time, I'll go and see whether they want the delivery tonight or not. If they want it tonight, bonus. It means I can head back early in the morning. If not, booked in at half past seven. Made it to the delivery site last night with a couple of minutes spare, but not enough time to be able to go up and try and do the delivery. So waited until this morning to do that. Been and done that now. Now I'm making my way back to the yard. I need to take this trailer back to the yard rather than down to the docks and have the container swapped over because uh, this trailer is due an MOT. So yeah, take it back there and then got to get a different container and go down to the the docks with that one to get my delivery for this afternoon back in Wales so yeah a little bit of driving to do this morning but most important thing to do is go and get some breakfast I think I'm going to stop in Lee Delamere Didn't make it as far as I wanted to last night. Only got down as far as the A34. That's after I'd been to Wales, done the delivery, but I'd hit loads of traffic getting over the bridge and past Newport. I think they had a lane closed a bit further up the motorway, which was a little bit annoying. So yeah, got to the delivery site last night a little bit later than I ideally wanted. Because of that, they were on their break, so I had to wait for them to finish their break before they were going to unload me. It's all fine, just a little bit annoying. And then, yeah, I'll say, just got down the A34. Had to go into the docks this morning to get my container for my 11 o'clock booking this morning over in Wales again. It's in the docks for about 20 past six. And I was out pretty quickly. I was 15 minute break in the bay. And then, yeah, not long after that, I was leaving, so that was all right. Got another two and a half hours to go-ish from where I am. Need to stop and get some breakfast from somewhere. Um, just got to work out how far I'm going to get before I do need to have another break, because I've already done just under two hours driving. So, yeah, going to push on as far as I can to get my break in as close to Wales as I can, close to the delivery site. And if I can make up some time, I'll get my break in when I get there. And that'll stand me in good stead for making it back up there again this evening with another one. Made it up to the delivery site. Now on my way back towards the yard. Called the planner to find out where my box is, where my next container is, and apparently it's in the docks. But the trouble is, because I've already done both my 10 hour drives, I've not got enough time to go back to the docks to get my container and come back up here tonight. I'm probably only just gonna have enough time to make it back to the yard and back up here tonight. So yeah. Uh, gonna see if she can swap it over with a box that's due later on in the week that we've already got in the yard uh, just because of how they've cleared that's how it's worked how they've cleared through customs so yeah gotta just start heading back that way and hope that it's okay that I bring a different box that's yeah already in the yard otherwise I'm not gonna make it I don't think a great deal has happened since I last spoke to you. I made it to the delivery with a few minutes to spare again. I uh, went in, did the delivery and managed to get out, which is what I needed to do last night. But I had another delivery in Wales this morning for nine o'clock. So that meant I had to start at three o'clock this morning. And of course, trying to film at this time of year, three o'clock in the morning, it's pretty dark. So absolutely pointless. Got back to the yard just about six o'clock and trailer swapped and then headed back up towards the delivery site. 
I had to have a break on the way up so I didn't get there till about 10 o'clock because it's about three hours each way plus a break and a trailer swap. Um, yeah, now on my way back to the yard and it's just been one of those weeks. Doing backwards and forwards to Wales all week to the same place is pretty boring to do and I imagine pretty boring to watch as well. So as I'm doing the same thing tomorrow, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, all of those good things. Of course, if you want to, can't tell you what to do. I'm not your mum and I'll catch you in the next one.